watching Action News Now. Storm Tracker weather coverage you can count on. Mountain Biker Rescue at Chico's Bidwell Park. Cal Fire says the biker had a bad fall along the Annie Bidwell Trail. This was this weekend. The Buchanan Sheriff's uh, helicopter flew in to bring that victim to safety. And clear skies today over northern Butte County and still a little bit of ice and snow on the mountaintops out there. Chief Meteorologist Jason Stiff is tracking conditions for us. Jason, that probably won't be uh, the view we're seeing in even maybe just a few more weeks from now. Yeah, it's melting pretty rapidly. We've had above average temperatures today, a little bit cooler than yesterday, but still warmer than average. And the snow and ice that remains, it is going to be melting faster and faster. But we definitely need that melt water for all the various activities as well as the agriculture in the Golden State. The temperatures, well, I sense a theme here. 88 degrees is the high in four different cities. Redding, Red Bluff, Corning, and Chico all at 88 degrees. It was 80 degrees in Paradise, 82 in Weaverville today, and up to 79 degrees in Mount Shasta, about four to five degrees cooler than yesterday. That's all due to the differing wind direction that we had this afternoon, and far fewer showers and storms. Just a few over Modoc County. Yesterday, we had a lot more over most of the higher terrain, and a few lightning strikes here too, but that's all going away rapidly. We're going to have a clearing of our sky tonight. We'll have plenty of sunshine on Tuesday and the temperatures will begin to rise yet again. There will be some more high clouds moving into our sky by Wednesday afternoon, but they're not rain or snow bearing clouds. Certainly not snow this time of year. That air mass is just too warm for that. And our weather this coming week, this third week of May, it's going to be all about that ridge staying in control of the weather of the West Coast. There'll be just enough energy and moisture to cause showers and isolated thunderstorms over the higher terrain about as far as the Sierra Crest, but it's going to be pretty tough, if not impossible, to have the rain pushing down into the foothills and the valley on the west side. So we'll have a few clouds in here and there, some isolated showers of rain, also some thunderstorms, but that's really about it for us. If you live anywhere on the valley, expect a lot of heat. We're not going to have a lot of wind, thankfully. We don't want the increased fire danger, but we're not going to have any of the rain gauges filling up anytime soon. So I want to show you one of our seven-day forecast models. Even in the higher elevations, most places is staying at or below a tenth of an inch of rain. I'll show you our other long-term model in the second half hour, but it won't be too much different from that. And as far as our wind gusts, not too much wind tonight. We'll have a nice, mild, quiet night and morning. Tuesday afternoon, we're going to have plenty of sunshine, very little wind, just enough of a breeze pushing down the valley to give us more heat. And we'll also have a little bit less wind as we move into Wednesday afternoon, too. So it's a pretty good time to get out to the pool. You can't get out to, Ch uh, to, to Chico's Sycamore Pool at the uh, Bidwell Park park right now because they're going to be cleaning that out. But if you have your own pool, good time to do that. Toasty weather on Tuesday, a lot of sunshine, average highs in the lower 90s, about 10 to 11 degrees warmer than average. And for tonight, we'll also have that clear sky, lows in the 40s in the mountains, 50s and 60s for the valley and foothills. Highs tomorrow will also be above average, about 10 degrees warmer than average for everyone across the board. Lower 80s for the higher terrain, lower 90s for the valley, up to 92 degrees in Chico and 93 in Redding. Next seven days in Chico, mostly sunny to sunny sky across the board, and those overnight lows and daytime highs staying very consistent, both about 10 degrees above average. For Reading, same situation. Thankfully, not triple digit heat yet. We don't need that obnoxiousness just yet. It's too early for that, but the temperatures again in the lower 60s for overnight lows, highs between 92 and 95 degrees. We won't be breaking any records, but it will definitely be warmer than average at least through next Monday. 90 sounds a lot worse, Jason, in theory than it actually was. <laughs> this weekend it was warm, but it was pretty nice. Felt pretty good. Yeah. All right, thanks.